Last week, Victoria released 2.027 million tonnes of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. This was 3% lower than the previous week due to a reduction in natural gas prompted by milder conditions. We are currently 31.8% above the 1990 weekly average for energy. Welcome to Making the Switch. Hello, I'm Lisa Corduff. On tonight's show, we bring you forward thinkers, individuals who are taking their industries towards a greener future. First up, the fashion industry. As awareness of the footprint our consumer choice is leaving on the planet grows, so too do creative outside the square solutions. For example, when I see a billboard, I see a billboard. Have a look at what Scott Kilmartin sees. Wow! Hall is a, a business that manufactures a range of recycled accessories. We make products out of billboards, old advertising vinyl billboards, uh, rubber truck inner tubes and um, used Australian number plates. I lived overseas in the US for a long time, um, came back to Australia, wanted to start my own business, bought a few ideas, um, wanted to do something of a recycled nature that was kind of cool and a, with a bit of a creative aspect to it. It's great that you're making something out of recycled material, but if it wasn't designed particularly well, then it wasn't going to have a market and it wasn't going to go anywhere. So having something you know, recycled but design driven was probably my biggest motivator. The billboard stuff evolved from literally driving to the airport one day, being fairly late as usual, and seeing, on a windy day, seeing some guys, some sign installers struggling with a billboard that was flailing in the wind. Um, you know, I, I thought billboards were paper, um, found out that they were vinyl, um, rang a mate of mine who worked in advertising and gone, can you get, me, get hold of some old billboards for me? The billboards um, predominantly go to landfill, so probably 98% of them go to landfill. The odd farmer covers some hay with them, um, tradies might use them as a drop sheet, but there's just huge amounts of them out there. And with more and more um, big freeways being partly financed by having you know, advertising on them, there's more and more, the outdoor advertising industry is booming and continues to grow. It's really strong, it won't tear, um, it's got a UV protection over it so the colours won't fade. and um, depending on what's originally been printed on the billboard, then nothing we ever make from the billboard is ever, diff is ever the same. So you're never going to walk up the street and have someone with the same bag as you or the same laptop sleeve or the same wallet or artist apron or whatever it might be. The number plates are genuine used number plates. We've got agreements with most of the transport departments to buy back plates that are um, deregistered or decommissioned. So we literally punch, wash, punch, cut and then rivet things to them. The rubber inner tubes um, are inner tubes that we collect from truck and bus and um, even some kind of agricultural tyre chain centres. So we get the inner tubes, uh, we cut them, stamp them into pieces and like the components of the bags and then they get go off and be industrially washed um, and we get them back and we, we polish them um, with a rubber nutrient to bring them back to kind of that charcoal black. If you, if you didn't know it was rubber, you'd think it was a, a reasonable quality leather. So it's got a great look and feel to it, which is really different to the other stuff we use. This is Gus, he's the, uh, the hall dog. He's a failed security guard. We had a laptop stolen from the shop while he was snoozing in the corner. So to earn his keep, he's gonna have to come out with his own, he's gonna bring out his own range of collars and leads. So Gus is going to be our celebrity designer. The bright colours aren't for everyone, but the people that like it, especially we get lots of creatives, um, you know, DJs and people that are doing design or um, graphic design or advertising, that kind of stuff that really like it because it's, you know, it's, it stands out and it's pretty different. We've at various points done things out of street signs, um, which were great, but often hard to get hold of, so a, bit, a little bit limited, but um, cans are the next things uh, on the agenda. We want to, I guess, get into making, you know, arrange more bags, um, some things like, you know, cycling panniers or saddle bags and surfboard covers and, you know, it's pretty much um, endless in terms of the, what the material lends itself to do. While Scott and his dog are busy reusing nylon billboards, 
Paul Littman in Port Melbourne is revolutionising the art of dry cleaning. The environmental benefits would be immeasurable if all dry cleaners were to implement his model. And once again, this story shows that making the switch is also good for your health. Daisy Dry Cleaning is Australia's first non-toxic chemical free dry cleaning process. Mille in Germany started working on, on wet cleaning, what's called wet cleaning in the early 1990s. They developed it, um, we've improved it um, in conjunction with other people out of Adelaide, with other equipment out of Switzerland. We've modified what they've done. Uh, we use basically a high-end computerised washing machine using water, degradable detergents. We use citrus as a spotting agent. Everything is computerised in the process that we've developed. So if you've got a silk or a um, satin or a cotton, a wool, it goes on a different washing process in a different cycle, it's treated differently. The pressing um, is a different process. There is a little bit more finishing uh, on the clothing, um, with a little bit more hand ironing, touching up, but it's pretty much the same. Traditionally, you would use um, various chemicals to remove the stains and you put them through a large processing machine that uses a substance called perchloroethylene. It damages the environment, it damages the water streams, it damages the air flows. If you were to go to the EPA in any country in the world, particularly the US, the US EPA, um, go on the, it's a hazardous chemical. We're the only dry cleaner in the whole country doesn't have to have a heads chem sign on the front because right, we don't use it. You seriously have to handle it with gloves and a mask. It's a great cleansing agent. There's no question it's a great cleansing agent. It does a wonderful job in cleaning your clothes, but it's unnecessary as far as we're concerned in 97, 98% of garments. So we choose to use the 97, 98% of garments and clean them in a substance that won't destroy the environment. And the 2% that we can't clean will send off to somebody that has a chemical processing machine. The significance of, of dry cleaning to the consumer is minimal. The want to travel a distance is minimal, um, so dry cleaning is still a convenience uh, product as far as the consumer is concerned. The interesting proposition with people is they actually take the doona to the dry cleaner to kill the dust mites so their children don't suffer from asthma, and the perk can induce asthma attacks. But that's the irony of life at the present moment. Working with the, the chemicals I, I worked with in the past, I, Nine times out of ten, at the end of the day, I'd go home with a headache, um, itchy fingers and skin. Uh, every now and again, you get a little bit of a rash um, just from the chemicals touching them. Um, but since I've been in the chemical-free industry now, uh, no headaches. My sense of taste, smell, uh, they seem to be coming back. Um, so basically, uh, the life of uh, chemical-free is for me instead of the chemical now. The customer reaction to our process so far has been pretty well positive. Um, the softness of the clothes coming back to them, the lack of chemical smells, um, which is the main uh, thing the customers are aware of, first thing they say is well, they don't smell like a dry cleaner. Some people unfortunately actually want to smell it right, because they think the garments are clean if they smell the dry cleaning liquid and that's a reality and other people want to feel the stiffer garment. We actually want to put a proposition to the sustainability of Victoria where we will train other dry cleaners to use wet cleaning so that we can reduce the consumption of perk. When doing your washing at home, switch to a cold wash every time and save up to 4,300 black balloons at approximately $30 a year. After the break, we visit a hotel that's not only four stars, it's four green stars, and tips on buying appliances. 